day five. Day five of being out here um, in front of the Capitol, still asking, um, and I don't know if it looks like an ask anymore, but we are demanding is what is really happening. We need the moratorium on evictions to happen today. Every single day that we wait, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people are receiving um, eviction notices, and some of them are being put out on the street. Uh, and uh, even yesterday, people started sending me pictures of dockets, of court dockets, that were all evictions. We cannot continue to sit back and play with what can or what cannot happen, when something could happen. We need this done today. People's lives depend on it. So the, last night was night five, um, and um, Representative Ocasio-Cortez and Representative uh, Jimmy Gomez stayed out here last night. Um, I did go home uh, for the first time in, in, three, in the three days prior. So I went home to get some rest. Um, but we won't stop. I want people to see that this is, this is not Cori Bush's effort that I'm doing by myself. This is the work of members of Congress and so many others. We have clergy, we have community groups, we have uh, community leaders, we have um, just community members, and we have directly impacted people. We have people who are unhoused, who have been out here with us saying help. So, this is a dire situation and it's urgent, so questions. Congresswoman, why was it so important for you to be out here personally? What gave you this idea? Um, the, the hour before, um, the th that I had the thought <laughs> to do it, I would not, I didn't know that I would. I just know, I just remember that as Representative Ocasio-Cortez and I, as we were, when we heard that something was happening on the floor and we needed to, to get to the floor, when we ran in, we literally were running. I know I've said that before, we were running to go in to try to stop what was about to take place, um, to be able to call a, see if we could call a roll call vote, to just, to do something. And when we found out that our efforts, you know, that it didn't work, um, that we were too late, that was just like, um, like my heart was broken. And it was just like, what, how can, what, what do I do now? Am I supposed to just go home? No. And the thing is this, I am an organizer. I'm an activist. That's what I do. So I fell back on what I know to do, which was be visible, put your body on the line, you know, use whatever you have. And so coming here as somebody who just cares about ending human suffering, period, that was first. But then being able to draw from those, from the moment, thinking about all those times, because there were multiple times I had eviction notices placed on my door or where I thought that one was coming, being able to draw from that because poverty is so expensive. Poverty is expensive. And once you, in, once you are in a place, once you get that eviction notice, once that notice hits your door, even if you had the $2,000 or whatever it is, to, even if somebody said, okay, I'll get you the money to pay the rent, the back rent and the, and the late fees. Once you get that notice, that means it's been to the lawyer. So now that adds more money. And then all of these other fees, now you owe an extra two or $3,000 or more. And so now where do you come up with that in three days or seven days or 10 days? You know, and then on top of that now, if you don't have it, now it's on your credit. So it messes with your credit. Now, how do I get another place? Because now my credit looks bad. And then if I'm sleeping on the street, how do I get, how do I sign an application to say, hey, call this landlord? You know, so that's why there's, there's so many pieces to being unhoused. And it is not okay to say, just because I don't understand it, that it's okay to let people go out. No. But because I do understand it, I do know what it's like. I do know what it's like to have babies sleeping in a car with trash bags, my belongings, everything I own in trash bags, because I know what that's like. There's no way that I could sit back and be quiet.